Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lossu, the mother of all humans. First of all, this fact is from Matt Swaby. Thank you very much, Matt. This is an absolutely amazing fact. I love it. Mitochondrial Eve is the most recent common ancestor of all currently living human beings. She's the most recent woman that all human beings who are currently alive are descended from in an unbroken line from mother to 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 mother, to mother, to mother all the way back to converge on this one one single woman, one single woman. So they looked at 147 people across all the different racial groups and they found common links in the mitochondrial DNA. So who is mitochondrial Eve? Well, she's thought to have lived between 152,000 and 234,000 years ago. That predates, that's before the time when humans, as we know them, came out of Africa, which is about 100,000 years ago. Now, don't get me wrong, she wasn't the first human woman ever, and she also wasn't the first human woman around at the time, but she is the direct descendant of all current living human beings based on the mitochondrial DNA. So humans have got 46 chromosomes in each of your cells, 23 from your mother, 23 from your father, but you also have the mitochondria, and I've spoken about the mitochondria before, they're the powerhouse of the cell that's what releases energy, and the mitochondria have their own DNA. Now mitochondrial DNA is only passed down from mother to offspring. If you're a guy, you don't pass on your mitochondrial DNA to anyone, it's a dead end. It only comes down to female lineage. So any mutations in the mitochondrial DNA can be traced back through your mother's side. So it's very easy to identify mutations in the mitochondrial DNA and to be able to compare them with other people. So there's about one mutation every 3,500 years per nucleotide of the mitochondrial DNA. So what about guys? There's also the male version of mitochondrial DNA. He's called Y-chromosomal Adam. So based on the Y chromosome, you see how that's been passed down through the generations and is thought to have originated from one guy. And he's thought to have been around between 180,000 and 581,000 years ago. Obviously, mitochondrial Eve and Y chromosome Adam didn't need to be around at the same time. And they both passed on their genes to successive generations. So that now, everybody who's alive is thought to be descendants of mitochondrial Eve and Y chromosome Adam. As in, we have their genes. So effectively, Everybody in the world is your brother and your sister if you go back far enough. Now, not everybody believes this theory and there's some people who want to argue against how the research is done or how the experiments have been performed in terms of looking at the DNA, but I think it's amazing nonetheless. That is the mother of all humans. And looking at objectively, all things will come back from our common ancestor if you go back far enough. So I'm fully on board with mitochondrial leave. Cheers, Matt Swaby. Thank you again for this amazing fact. If you enjoyed this, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Thanks for your time. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.